G'day everyone and welcome back to Quick Reviews. In today's episode, I'm looking at the action romance Blood Money starring Andy Garcia, Ellen Barkin and Morgan Freeman. Pretty impressive cast, eh? Well, prepare yourself to be disappointed because Blood Money is one of those movies you come into with high expectations and are left wondering what went wrong. So, what did go wrong? Well, let's start with the plot. I couldn't follow it. As far as I could tell, Andy Garcia plays a poor parrot smuggler named Clinton. Yes, you heard me right. He spends his time sneaking back and forth across the southern border doing business. His brother Bobby, however, is living the opposite life as a successful lawyer. Unfortunately, every job has its occupational hazards, and for Bobby, that means having a hit squad sent to his home. When Clinton decides to pay his brother a visit, he stumbles upon a murder in progress and thwarts the attack, albeit too late. He discovers a bag of tapes left behind, and in them, one tape in particular which includes secret audio of a torture. That's when we're introduced to Nadine, played by Ellen Barkin. She was the prostitute who witnessed the crime earlier but fled, leaving her purse behind. After tracking her down, Clinton teams up with her to solve the murder and bring down those involved. And this is where the plot completely derailed for me. There's literally no reason for these two to stay together. Clinton wants to avenge his brother, which kind of makes sense, but it's clear that Nadine didn't love him, nor can she offer any real help. Eventually, as you'd expect, there's this forced intimacy between them, but they don't really have any on-screen chemistry to make it even slightly believable. So continuing the trail, Clinton decides to meet a district attorney named Dorsey Pratt, played by Morgan Freeman. He works privately for a military general who's covertly arming the Contras in Nicaragua. They want the tape back because it implicates them in a gun-running and money-laundering operation. Well, that's about as much as I could decipher, because much of the pivotal plot points are so poorly revealed. Important conversations which could have helped me understand Bobby's connection to the operation are obscured behind muffled dialogue. Just imagine listening to someone with a thick Costa Rican accent eating food outside a noisy restaurant. I suppose there's times when captions help after all. But, but the ridiculousness doesn't end there. In what could only be described as the lamest escape scene in movie history, Clinton eludes capture by electrocuting a soldier with his own urine. I don't even think MacGyver was that resourceful. So that's about all I really need to say about this movie because it's completely dead on arrival. Even the actors appear to phone in their performances. It's devoid of romance, and the action moments are too few and far between. That's why this movie gets a final rating of one and a half halos out of five. On almost every level, this movie fails. Even its short runtime felt too long. But after hearing all that, if you want to check this movie out for yourself and make up your own mind, please follow the links I provided in the description and comment section below. Finally, as a small YouTuber, your subscription really means a lot to me and it spurs me on to get better with every new video. Also be sure to tell me your thoughts on this movie once you've seen it or if you already have. As always, stay safe and I'll see you again on the next episode of Quick Reviews.